Hey everyone, real quick, it's Philip Thomas here. So I recently made a video talking about how to replace the transmission slash rear, yeah, just rear motor mount, rear motor mount on a 2008 Ford Focus. And if you just watched that video, you might notice something. The larger round part is now attached to the subframe while the smaller round part is attached to the engine. And that's because I recently learned that that is the correct orientation. It is more difficult to install this way and you basically need three hands, <laughs> but I somehow managed to do it with two. But um, I just thought I would make this quick little update. Um, there was a pinned comment on that video if you're interested. But uh, yeah, go make mistakes and really the orientation is the biggest mistake in the world. But I'm trying to have this car be as nice as reasonably possible. So a quick 15 minute job is nothing for a better experience and possibly a more reliable vehicle. That's all. Have a great day. It's Philip Thomas, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace this guy. It's the rear torque strut mount for a 2008 to 2011 Ford Focus. And this procedure is going to work on any Ford Focus from 2005 to 2011 with the 2 liter Duratec engine. But on that note, make sure that you buy the correct part for your vehicle. If you buy this mount for a 2005 to 2007, you'll be under the car and you will spend hours trying to get it into place and get the bolt threaded just to realize that it's the wrong size. So make sure you get the part for your car. And since I have a 2008, I'm gonna leave the link down below for ones for a 2008 model focus. And just again, make sure you get the right part and save yourself a lot of time. Now, in order to actually get this done, you're gonna need one part and one tool. That one part, as I've already shown you, is this piece right here. Again, that's the motor mount. And you might want some supplemental hardware. I went to AutoZone and picked up a couple of the bolts, and I don't know what size they are other than the head being 16 millimeters. I don't know about the length or whatever, but just pick them up. They're standard automotive grade bolts. You can pick them up for just a couple of dollars. And then again, 16 millimeters, you're gonna want that on a socket. And interestingly enough, you don't actually need an extension for this job, and I'll show you, you don't need one at all. It's just super bit easy. Go into the car, move two bolts, take out the old part, put the new one in. It shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. And of course, before you do that, you're gonna wanna jack up the car. Now, what I've already done is I've driven the car onto some blocks so that it's already up a couple of inches, and I've also pulled the parking brake. And I've also lifted the car up just a few more inches with the spare tire jack. And I know some of you are gonna say that it's dangerous and it's gonna collapse and it's gonna kill me. And that's actually the reason that I have the car on these blocks is not necessarily just for more height, but also if that tire jack were to collapse, I'm not gonna die underneath the car because it's still gonna be resting on its suspension on those sturdy bricks. Now. With all that out of the way, you don't even need to open the hood for this. I'm just doing it so that more light can go through the engine and I can see a little bit better down there. And I've also got a light over there, which is shining right on the part. But now we're going to get under the car and we're going to get this done. So we're underneath the car now. And what you're going to do to find this mount is just look for something that looks like that. It's behind the oil pan, behind the transmission pan. And it's right there, easy to see. And easy to replace. Now, interestingly, you don't actually need a jack to do this job in terms of lifting up the engine. The other two mounts, you definitely do need a jack in order to support the weight of the engine, but because this one only controls the engine's um, forwards and backwards movements when you're accelerating, um, you don't actually need um, a jack to lift up the engine. You're just going to rely on the other two mounts because this one doesn't really support the engine like that. Now, to actually take the mount out, all we got to do is Grab our 16 millimeter, make sure it's set correctly. Just remember that clockwise is to tighten and that counterclockwise is to loosen. So all I gotta do is put that on there and then just go counterclockwise. And because I've already done this job a couple times trying to <laughs> do this with the wrong part, um, this bolt is already relatively loose. I never put it in there very tight. But all you're going to do is just wrench on that bolt and then wrench on that bolt. And once we're done getting them loose, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I wasn't super able to catch it. But as you can see, I did get that bolt out. And one thing to note 
is that as you're undoing the bolt, and it's going to take a little while, I mean, there's a lot of thread that you've got to get through. Um, eventually, you're going to want to pull, take the socket off and then pull the bolt out, and it'll come out of the threads behind this, and then it'll be in here, and then you just unthread a little more. Uh, give this a couple hits with your ratchet just to move it and position it as you need to, and then you'll turn it a little more, pull the bolt out, and now we can start doing the same thing to that one right there. And once you have both of those bolts loosened, it comes out really easily. You just, it already wants to come out. You'll just remove it like that. It falls out through here and then you pull it from the back. And now we put the new part in and it doesn't really matter orientation wise. We're just gonna shove it up under there. And, oh, hold on, there we go. Now, one quick note, this bracket right here is a B-I-T-C-H. And what you might have to do um, I've already done this, uh, but what you might end up having to do is you'll have to take your ratchet or your socket, and this is why I use 3 8 tools because they're so freaking strong, and you're going to have to get in there and you're going to have to just pry this apart a little bit so that you can expand this bracket so that it actually holds this part properly and lets you, you know, put a new one in there because otherwise you're going to have one heck of a time getting the part in and out. So if you're having that issue, go ahead and pry it apart or you can just struggle, whatever you want to do. But now we're going to do the reverse. We've got the part in there. I'm going to bolt it in. And now to um, put it back in, you're going to want to start with this back bolt. You're going to want to align it with that back hole so that the bolt just kind of slides on in. There you go. You might want to screw it in a little bit. There we go. And then for this front hole, I'm not going to be able to do it with um, just one hand, but you're going to push the engine back and you're going to line those holes up and then you're going to Throw your bolt in there and just start tightening it down. All right, now an issue, an issue that you're probably going to occur or encounter is getting this um, bolt into the hole. And I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use a jack and just jack up the engine a little bit and make it meet there a little bit. But if you're really strong, you can just push the engine over there and then get the bolt in the hole. Either way, it's gonna be a little difficult. But hey, that's part of mechanicing. Okay, so a quick note, um, I was actually incorrect about the order of installing the bolts. What you want to do is go ahead and install this bolt first, because it's really difficult to get it to line up all the way through the, um, the, the hardware. So you'll just want to try to get that one in first. You shouldn't need the jack for it, just move it around as you need to, and it'll, it'll kind of thread itself in. And you might want to do that while you're over here with a flashlight looking into the hole so that you can see where the end of the bolt is. And once you get that lined up, you want to use a jack or, you know, just brute force if you're a muscle man. And you're just going to come over here and move this one around. I've got the jack up just enough to put some pressure on it, push this back, and get that bolt lined up. And now I'm just going to tighten them up and see if my car works any better.